Hello everyone, how are you? Today we will solve uh, let code problem 18, which is for some. Uh, but first, I, rec I recommend for you to watch solution for problem 3 sum and 2 sum because if you understand how to solve the 2 sum and 3 sum problem, for some it will be very easy to understand. It's exactly like a three sum problem, <clears throat> except it have another iteration, another loop outside for the fourth number. Okay, so what we will have, we'll have four loop for the A and four loop for the B. And we have while here for the two sum operation for the number C and D. So it's four numbers, A, B, C, D. The outer loop for A, the inner loop for B, and the while loop is for both uh, choosing the number C and D. But of course, here we need to make sure the current number does not equal uh, does not equal the previous number. So because we want to avoid any duplicate in the results, here it's required from us to find the four numbers that add, adds up to the target but should be unique quadruples. Also here we will put condition to not to have current number equal to the previous and we will do the same here for the two sum. To not have the current number equal to the previous to avoid any duplicates in the results. I'm not going to explain in detail how to solve this problem because you can watch the video for the three sum and two sum and it's uh, exactly the same solution except we having we are having an extra for loop so basically uh, what they want from us is giving us a list of integers they want the all possible combination of four numbers that when we add them together we will have a value summation equal to the target so here we have five twos and the target is eight. Of course, four twos will be eight, and we should not choose another two because two is uh, same as any of these two. But here, a have two, b have two, c have two, and d have two. These four twos add up to eight, and you may say, okay, we choose three two, these three twos, and this as a fourth two. No, it will be it will be. Uh, same answer as these four because should be unique in value not unique in index unique in value so here we have only one answer while here we have three answers so let's go to the jupyter lab and we start coding to find solution for this problem so here i will start with initiating uh, an empty array to store the result and first we will sort our list to be sorted to avoid any duplication in the result so this is the outer loop I will call it I1 in range of length for nums and I can put here also minus 3 because uh, this last 3 will be uh, for the numbers B and C and D so we can leave it like this it will just do an extra iteration but we can also choose it like this and here we will say if i1 is bigger than zero so it's not the first index because the first index don't have a previous value so if it's not the first index and nums for i1 equal to the nums of i1 plus one so the current is equal to the next or the previous is equal to the current what we will do we will continue we will skip this iteration because we don't want a uh, uh, duplicate uh, results here for i to the the other loop range which is for the number b it will start after i1 till the length of nums and here minus two, why minus two? Because these two numbers will be uh, uh, will be left for the number C and D. 
here it will be left for B, C, and D, and here it will be the B, and here these two will be for C and D. So we close, how many times I should close it? I think one time is enough here, yeah. Also, if I2 is bigger than I1 plus one, and nums for I2 is equal to nums, Sorry, here should be minus one to the previous, yeah. Nums. Nums I2 minus one. If it's equal for to the previous, we also skip this iteration. And here we initialize the two sum operation, which is the left and right indexes will be equal to I2 plus one a neg of nums minus one while left is less than right so we can do our operation total simply will be nums of i1 plus nums of i2 plus nums of left plus nums of right if total is bigger than target, then it's too, too big and we need to shift to the right index that hold a big number to the left side that have a smaller number. So R it will be minus one. LF total is smaller than target. So uh, the total is too small and we need to shift the left index to the right side to have to to find a bigger number so we shift left index by one else does mean total equal target and you find a solution so simply what we will do we append the solution which is what is the solution it's basically nums of i1 which is a and then nums of i2 which is b and then nums of left which is C and then here is nums and nums of right which is D okay but even for the two sum operation we might have two numbers adjacent to each other are they are the same so when we shift left by one we could face the same number and we could have a duplicate result so we need to make sure we don't have duplicate results so while nums of left equal nums of left minus one and still left is smaller than r we will do left plus equal one and that's it we just return the result should be good we have some mistake here we have in the append uh oh, why result dot append nums this is this i need to close square bracket yeah should be like this num i write num somewhere here should be nums okay mistakes happen yeah so this should be good let's take this code to the lead code and test it there so i pasted the code here let's submit and to find if it's worked properly or not and yeah it's working properly it's uh, time complexity memory, memory complexity very good thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye